Sorry. <laughs> Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another you episode of it. the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Ah, uh, James and myself again. Um, as you all know, I am not a big fan of hoppiness, hop head beers, the new way of doing IPAs. Neither's James, which is why I picked this beer out for him. It is the Garrison's Hop Yard <laughs> Pale Ale. It is dry hopped. It is 5.3% alcohol. God! Uh, it's brewed in Halifax. I used to like that city. <laughs> Alright, Internet, take bets now on when the first spit take of the Al Albino Rhino Beer Review is going to happen. <laughs> well, I'm guessing this is not going to be as hoppy as their Imperial IPA, which I didn't like whatsoever. But at the same time, their Imperial IPA was just called Imperial IPA, not Hop Yard. Which uh, worries me just a bit. Yeah, if there's anything I hate more than a hoppy beer, it's anything dry hopped for fuck's sakes. Well, here we are. Hey, it's filtered at least, which would make it hard to be really dry hopped. Yeah, that's kind of mind blowing right now. But you know what? Probably shouldn't even pour the rest. <laughs> it's a prediction. Is it, is it all. All right. Okay. All right. It's a nice color. Oh, sure it is. Yep. It, it, it's a nice looking beer. It doesn't have much head, but the head stayed so far. It does look very nice. A yeah. nice amberish color. Yeah, doesn't I can't look, argue with that. Doesn't look like a dry hopped beer, though. As I said, it's not cloudy. It doesn't really look like there's any sediment floating in there. It doesn't look like anything that's dry hopped. Unless it was dry hopped differently than what you're used to, and it was dry hopped and then filtered still. Which is odd. It is. It's very odd, but I mean, they so, could do it. Well, that just means that this is probably twice as evil, because they made it look like a regular beer, and you're still going to get punched in the mouth by a bunch of shit. Um, <laughs> I'm punched in the nose right now. Oh. <laughs> sakes! Alright, well... You know what, though? It's not just hops. There's, there's No, that actually makes me very, very excited that this might be okay. Because it so. smells rounded. You get, get the malt. There's some nice sweetness to it. It's a little... What type of malt is that? It's a... Uh, it almost smells like... I'm getting, I'm getting blown away by his smoke smell. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, there should be a wash station. No, it's not. No, you know what, like... I can get some spruce. I can get the normal floral hops, I can get a little bit of the bittering hops. Um, the, there is a nice bit of malt coming off on it, but it's just, it's sweet. It's it's not one of the, it's not like the molasses or caramel or chocolate or darks yeah. or anything like that. It's not any of the ones that you can just smell and know what it is right away, but it's there. Now, it doesn't say it's an IPA, it does say a pale. It's a is pale. It, is it supposed to be an IPA? Well, I wouldn't think it's an IPA, because pale is its own style as well. Right. Because uh, it doesn't smell at all like an IPA, that's why I was asking. I, I would probably say it's probably closer to an APA because it has so much more malt in it. Hmm. Alright. But, uh, yeah. 5.3%. I, uh... The smell has promise. See, <laughs> I like Garrison's, but I'm just scared to drink it because I don't want to say it's really bad because Garrison's is a good brewery. Everything I've had from them has been good. But I just know... As I said on my last video with the commander, I'm a malt maniac, I'm not a hop head. I want just all those beautiful flavors in there. I mean, I'll, I will drink hop flavors. I don't have a problem with the grapefruit and the citrus and the spruce and all that, as long as it's mixed right and isn't just put in to be a huge IBU bitch slap. But, let's give it our shot. All right. It's dry hopped. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? All right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, You're right. You can tell it's dry hopped. Yeah, it's there for sure. Uh, did they did they actually go to the trouble and then filter it again? Like I don't understand this. Like that's what it seems like because I mean, every dry hopped beer I've ever had. Oh, well, it's got to be cloudy. Like there's there's stuff in it. I mean, it's dry yeah. hopped. Like you're putting dry hops into a beer and letting it sit for a while. There's going to be stuff there, but... 
don't know. Maybe these two bottles from the six pack don't have any, and the other four bottles are cloudy as shit. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Like you didn't shake up the orange juice before you poured it and you got all the pulp at the bottom. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm okay without pulp. My orange juice and my beer. But um, all around, I gotta say, for something that I can obviously tell is dry hopped, it's not killing me. I was gonna say, it actually still has promise. I can drink this. It's not the grossest thing I've had. It doesn't make me gag. I probably don't want to chug it. But I'm gonna try anyway at the end. Good luck. But um, I find that this actually tastes a lot more like an English bitter than it does like an IPA or something like that. Like I'm not sure if that's what yeah, you're going for, but and you get that beautiful maltiness at the front forefront. Like as soon as it touches your tongue, you get that nice sweetness. The uh, it has that like bready biscuitiness. It has the copper coin mm -hmm. taste. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like the normal English bitter or English pale ale. Well, original Indian pale ale, I should say. Before it traveled? <laughs> be, 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 before it became what it is now, yeah. Which yeah. is hop it as much as you can. Yeah, this is a much more well-rounded beer than I was expecting, like, without a doubt. And the, the color and everything else is beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, if The you're, viscosity it, is pretty nice, too. If you're not a crazy hop head, then, uh, but you do like it, this, this is an amazing beer for, for anybody who likes that kind of thing, because it's... Like I said, it's a lot more well-rounded than, than the IBU Maniac IPAs and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, it's still not for me, but uh, I'm going to drink it. Like I am. Yeah, so. I uh, I don't think I'll ever buy it again after this six-pack, but it's not horrible. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well done, you bastards. Yeah, you uh, did an okay dry hop beer, even though it confuses the fuck out of me when I can see boy chop through my beer. Um, yeah, I don't get it either, but... I'd probably put it at a, uh... Mm, I'll say a 6.25 out of 10, because, again, I will never buy it again. But there's nothing wrong with it. I can easily drink the last four that are here. I think... <clears throat> I think on, only because... Because the, the reason why we were confused about the appearance, it would, might be the only reason I wouldn't give it a much higher score. Um, but... Also being me, the fact that I've had this much of it, I, I, I gotta go a little bit higher because it's making me drink it. It really is. I'm probably gonna give this about, probably about a 6.5, and uh, and I'm gonna drink it. So, wow. Hop Yard. Not the terror I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> At all. I was all excited too when I pulled it out of the fridge. I'm like, this is gonna be great. James is gonna make funny faces. He's gonna <laughs> gag. He's gonna... It didn't work. That makes me sad too. Sorry guys. Cheers. They do a jalapeno <laughs> beer I'd really like to get. Mm. Jalapeno? Yeah. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No, they do a jalapeno beer. Oh, Somebody man. in Maritimes, send me a bottle of the jalapeno beer. Two. Two yes. bottles. <laughs> Two bottles. Because I really, really want it, and the guy I usually do beer trades with, El Hartlock or Lee, um, tells me it's really hard to find, and I know he's not right in Halifax. Somebody in Halifax, find one for me. Anyway, 6.25, 6.5. Thank you for watching the Alpine Rhino Beer Review. I don't know if I should do this or not. I'm not gonna. You're not going to? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a trademark at the end of my reviews. I probably should. Well, if it comes but... right back, <clears throat> no big well. If you're gonna spew, you could spew in the box. Oh, please, no. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather I'm not, but... Okay, we're gonna do it. The internet. The internet made you do it. Oh, my gut is rotting right now. <laughs> oh, no. I'm good, I'm good. Bye, guys. See ya. I'm crying. <laughs>